Hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to be looking at QNAP's email management apps, QMail Agent, and Q Cli QMail Client. Uh, thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, you can let us know. And so let's get into it. You might have experienced some issues with inboxes filling up, getting cluttered, and running out of space. This can result in wasting time, deleting numerous emails, needing to buy more storage capacity from your email service, or even just signing up for a whole new email account altogether. So let's take a look at some of these challenges that QNAP is addressing. First off, if you haven't been keeping up with deleting old emails or don't want to delete old emails, you may run into some storage issues. And then filling up your email account may lead you to sign up for a new email service. This could cause you to wind up with more email accounts than you might want, making it harder to manage your emails. Additionally, there may be times when you need to find an, an old email to reference. If, if you don't have backups of your email, you may have deleted the email that you need. Or if you forgot what email account the email you're looking for is on, it, it could take a while to search through all of your different email accounts to find it. So let's take a look at the landscape of email services and storage that's available. So with Google, we'll see that you get 15 gigabytes for combined services for free with 25 additional gigabytes for $5 per month or a terabyte of storage for $10 a month. And your attachments with Gmail can have a maximum size of 25 megabytes. For Yahoo Mail, you're, get, you're gonna get a lot more. You get 1,000 gigabytes free, but the service without ads would cost $349 per month. And like Gmail, the maximum size of an attachment would be 25 megabytes. With Microsoft's email service, Outlook, you get 15 gigabytes of storage, like with Gmail, and you also get a maximum capacity of 25 megabytes per attachment. So as you can see, there are definitely limitations to these email services. And this is why QMail Agent is the perfect complement to your email services. Because these services have limited space, you may need to clear room for new emails, and you may end up accidentally deleting the wrong emails, and emails that you might need down the road for whatever reason. You, you may need to retain emails for legal purposes or just for reference from your business. It, it, you just never know. And then another way you may try to remedy the issue of limited storage space for your emails is just trying to sign up for new email accounts, which could be time consuming. And then another option is that you could pay for more storage. But who, want, who wants to pay for something that you don't have to, right? It's just throwing away money. It, and if you do create more email accounts, it could become increasingly more difficult to manage all the accounts. It could become just you know, disorganized and, and just more difficult. So QMail Agent is QNAP's solution to these issues. Now, QMail Agent is not a mail server. You're not going to be creating a new email account with QMail Agent, but what QMail Agent does do is it helps you manage your already existing email services in an efficient man manner to eliminate wasting time, so that you can maximize your workflow. QMail Agent will help you automatically back up all of your email accounts in one place. This way, if you want to delete all of the emails on an email service, you still have that copy of the emails. In, in addition to backing up all of your email services, there's also an email sync section separate from the backups where you can view and manage your various email accounts in one place. So if you delete an email in the QMail agent, it will also be deleted on the email service. However, you will still have the backup on your NAS. Chances are your NAS will have far more capacity than you would need for all of your email accounts. So you won't have to worry about running out of storage. 
All right, so let's take a, a closer look at what using QML Agent looks like. So the way QML Agent works is there are two modes you can switch between. There's instant and backup mode. Instant mode is where your emails are synced to the email service and you can manage your emails. It's a two-way sync, so if you delete an email either on the email service or in QML Agent, the email will be deleted. However, even when the, you delete an email, it can still be found in your email backups. The backup mode is where all of your backed up emails are stored. With QML Agent, all of your emails will be automatically backed up and you can flexibly adjust automatic download interval settings to determine when to download emails and it's easy to switch between instant and backup. You just click on the switch, and the backup mode is not a sync. It is just a copy of all the emails that you get copied to email to QMail agent. All right, so backing up your emails is a, is a key feature to QMail agent. So this allows you to keep your email services tidy, free up storage space on your email accounts without having to worry about losing an email that you, that you need later. So QML Agent backs up both your emails and attachments automatically. You can manage saved emails in FileStation and sort them by date. You can open EML files directly in QML Agent and you can also reply to and forward backed up emails. And when you're freeing up space for your email service, you may end up deleting an email that, that you might need down the road. So with QML Agent, this isn't going to be an issue because you can just easily and quickly restore it from your backup. You probably have a few email accounts you're managing, or maybe even you have many accounts. If you're searching for an old email that you need to find, it could be very tedious to log into one email account, run a search, go to another, and then go to another until you find it, right? So to help locate files you need, we integrate our search engine QSearch with QML Agent. So this allows you to easily search for an email across all of your email accounts. You can search using criteria such as sender, recipient, subject, content, date, and so on. So not only can you search the content of emails across multiple email accounts, but you can also search the content of attachments across multiple accounts. So finding your old emails in your QMail agent backups will be as easy as possible. And as I said earlier, with the major email services, the maximum size of an attached file you can have is 25 megabytes. So in many cases, you would use Google Drive to share large files. But the issue with this is that it takes up your limited Gmail space. So now if you're using QMail Agent to compose an email, you can attach large files either with, either with Google Drive or with SmartShare to let the recipient download the file directly from the NAS. And the reason SmartShare is such a great tool is that when you use it, you won't need to use up a bunch of your Google Drive space. So you'll never need to worry about how you're gonna share large files. If you're like me, you probably access your email often on your phone. And QNAP's mobile app, QMail Client, enables you to have the functionality of QMail Agent on your mobile device. So you don't need to necessarily be on a computer to access your email backups or manage your email accounts. With QMail Client, you can manage all of your email accounts on your mobile device so that you can have all of your accounts in one place on the go. And on your mobile device, you can still easily switch between the instant mode and backup mode. The QML agent can notify you when you receive new messages also. And uh, offline, you can preview backed up emails. And QML client, it's available for both Android and iOS. So either way, you're covered. 
Okay, so let's look at some additional functionality of QML Agent. For added security, you can set up encryption to protect your backed up emails. This way, the information in your emails will be inaccessible without the password, keeping your privacy intact. And then we also integrate our app Q Contacts with QML Agent so that you can easily add your contacts from Q Contacts to QML Agent. When inputting the email address you're trying to send to Q Contacts supports autocomplete. So you might type in a few letters and then you'll see it searching and it'll it can just autocomplete uh, the, the email address that you're looking for. And additionally, new contacts in QML Agent can be automatically added to Q Contacts. All right, so let's get into the live demo. So you're going to see here, I'm just kind of at the home page type thing of, uh, the Q, of QTS. And to open it up, I'm going to go to the main menu. And I could find QML agent right there. Or if you have trouble finding it, you can try searching. I already typed in QML. I'll just click on QML agent here. And of course, if you have not installed QML agent, you can just go to the App Store and install it there. So here you can see my Yahoo inbox. Uh, you can see just inbox, drafts, everything like if I was on Yahoo. And then below that, you can see I can switch between instant mode and backup mode. So here I'm on my backup mode. So that's just the copies of all of these emails backed up. And then I can go back to instant. And this is where I could manage the account and delete uh, emails and things like that if I wanted. And here you can see if you want to flag emails or things like that, you can just click there. And so now I'm going to click on the right hand corner by the accounts. So switch accounts. So this is where I can switch between different accounts and stuff. And I could, so you can see I, ha I have a few email accounts attached. Or I could just um, add an email account. So I'm going to demo for you guys adding a new account. So I just click the icon. And on this page, you choose what email service you're using. So for the one I'm going to add, I'm going to use Outlook, an Outlook email. So I'll just put in my display name, my email, and my password. And add. If it was like a Google account, you would be able to use Google Auth to authorize the account. But because it's Outlook, I will put in the password on this page. And I could change the frequency here if I wanted for, uh, for the download of the emails. And I'm just going to click Save. All right, so I have now, now let's take a look back at the different accounts and you'll see I've added that Outlook account. Next, I'm gonna add an identity. And what identities do is it lets you, when you're composing an email, it, it helps you easily switch between what email account you wanna send that from. So, Actually, I already have this identity, so I'm just going to delete. And I'll just add it. So you just add identity, display name, email address, organization, QNet. And then you could put in reply to. Um, if you want to put in an email for the replies to go to, then you've got the blind carbon copy. And I can make a signature here. So I'll just put Cody, marketing specialist. And save. 
Okay, so now I have that identity created. So let's take a look here at the inbox again. I'll try switching to uh, to one of my other accounts. So here's like my work account, and you can see on the side the the filters are still maintained here. So it's just as if I was looking on my actual Gmail account. And now I'm going to try composing an email. So here from, you can see you can choose different identities. So I'll just send it from here. And two. I'll just send it to my work email. And you'll see it searching there. So it's kind of searching through different contacts. I can just select it. And subject, I'll just do a test. OK, and say hi. And here is where I can do my attachments. And so you can attach either from local, so like the computer I'm on, or your NAS. So I'm just going to go to the NAS, and I'll try to find a file that's larger than 25 megabytes. So I've got one right here, and OK. And so, yeah, here you can choose either Google Drive to share, but like I said in the slides, you know, it takes takes up your, your Google space. So prefer to use the share link. Click OK. And then let's try send. Uh, upload still in process. Sometimes it, you might have to wait for a second. Sending message. OK. And the message is sent. So let's check out my Google account. Where am I? And so I didn't put a subject on this. And then you can just click the attachment link here. And it'll take you to my QNAP Cloud. And there, there you have it. You can see the link. You could just click on it and you can download it from there. All right. Um, well, there you have it. That's uh, QMail agent and thank you for joining us and, and continue to let us know uh, the questions you have and yeah I hope, I hope this information is useful to you guys